Okay, hi everybody. This is my 2016 1005 passenger Honda Pioneer. What we're going to do is a um, inspection, which can also be done as a replacement of the air filters. This bike doesn't have but 100 miles on it, so I really don't think it's required to replace just now, but we're going to inspect it nonetheless. So here we go. First thing you want to do is move the, remove the hood here to a clips, pull that off, expose the front area. This is your air cover, your uh, cover for the air. Snap here, unsnap these. Exposes the relay, this is your air intake. This is your, um, I guess would be your primary air filter, which you can see is just for catching you know, twigs, pine needles, leaves, whatever, what have you. So we're going to clean that off. You can see a little dust there. I should think if this was really, really dirty, being that the material that it's made of, I would wash it maybe with Dawn if it had some oily dust to it. And being this is a dry medium, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend spraying anything like a K&N oil uh, for trapping the dust and all because that would really start choking this puppy up. We take a look down in the box and see there's a couple of twigs and whatnot in there, maybe a little mud. This is the intake actually here. This sponge material kind of sits in that corner. Just a little water channels here, you want to make sure that's clear. We'll also have a, a flashlight available. Over here you'll see what tools I had laid out, which would be a, a light. Um, my cordless drill, which I had set up with a, a long extension. We'll see why that comes into play later. Uh, five and a half millimeter Allen wrench, a nail, a fastener remover. Um, these are used for uh, door panels and whatnot. And you can see it's got a little beveled edge to it and kind of a horseshoe shape. Uh, Pick that one up at Snap On, but you can get them, I would imagine, other places. And a, a real high power flashlight and an air nozzle to uh, clean out whatever, anything we may have to. So we're going to get our flashlight over here. Come take a look, look down the water channel, make sure this port here doesn't have any mud or a blockage there to allow water to flow out. And take these little twigs out and just kind of check out the snorkel down in here and make sure it's clear. Everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and set this filter media back in there and uh, get all this secured back together. I'm gonna tuck our relays back in the water cover, or protective cover there I should say. Get that all that to fit in there and snap together. Everything's secure. There's also a little fastener back here that I didn't undo. It's a push pull, but these are push tab. These three here, everything gets latch secure. So basically just a, a splash, uh, splash protection and get our, our hood put back on. Pretty simple and straightforward. But the way this is set up is the air intake's up high forward and then it's got a, a tube or a airway or snorkel, whatever you want to call it, down under the passenger area which comes under the seat compartment to the engine space. So for this part here we're going to actually um, have to lift the bed. Expose this neat little cover back here. It's kind of dark in here, so we can get a light hanging. I would open the garage door, but it's pretty windy outside, and I imagine it's going to make a bunch of noise, so I'm trying to keep that closed. But anyway, under here we got this cover right here that says not a step. Of course, we're not going to step on it. You got this cover on the back of the house, or the back of the front seat, excuse me. We're going to come over here and grab this nail, which I should explain to you later. And what you do is these little button fasteners, you're actually going to pop that in until it clicks. And I've already popped these in, but it's just a, a detent. Once it pops into that point, it's going, to, um, it's going to free that fastener up. Let me show you what time. You're going to grab this fastening tool, reach under there, and pop that puppy out just like that. Again. 
can gather all these up and keep them set aside. Now you got two on this side, one on the top, two on the other side, as well as one up here. And then under the flap there was no more. And that allows this cover to come free like that. Exposes the engine. Now back here again with the nail you'll see that little click in there like that pop this out now to save time I've removed all the other ones there's one here here there's one on the other the two on the other side excuse me and then there's this fastener here that just pops out of that like that walk over to the other side of the machine same here up here and I'm just going to expose the air box where the filter the main filter is stored which is this box here now up on the top I don't know if we're going to be able to see it, it says notice clean the air cleaner cover prior to removal and remove the air cleaner element to the right side right side of the vehicle being this way and that's because the actual air intakes are here so any debris that might be on the filter you don't want to drop down into the engine of course into your fuel injection unit there so all right we walk over here and grab the allen wrench and we're going to take these puppies loose like so and then screw until it's free all right now what I was saying about the drill with the long extension of the same the same uh, size Allen wrench is because these fasteners up in the top in the back side here it makes it easy to reach which you can actually climb into the cab and work over the seat to get those secured so let's get all these fasteners taken loose and remove the cover, being sure not to lose any of the screws. I'm going to set that aside over here. And then we have this screen here. So we look this over, make sure it's all good and clean. And there's these two screws and also another allen wrench there so take this loose here and we do have to undo this allen screw so Actually, the back side of the air cartridge because the snorkel goes forward from here. These are the actual intakes for the engine itself. And take that loose. See, in our air box, we've got a little bit of garbage in there. Then remove our filter. You can see this is a pleated paper cartridge, like I said. Mine doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it, so it's going to be fairly clear. A couple twigs in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull those out, give it a good visual looking between the pleats. Now one thing we can do, take a little compressed air. In case there was any dust, which there wasn't. Looking inside the pleats, a couple of leaves and whatnot, probably tap some of those out. The bigger, the bigger debris will shake out. I'll just make sure to tap it, but tap against the frame here because you wouldn't want to beat those pleats up too bad. So get a little some more larger debris out. Let's set that aside for a sec. Jump back in here. Take a look at the box. Make sure we get this leaves and whatnot out. Make sure our seat and surface is clean. 
better than I set our filter back in. Pretty straightforward. Find our Allen wrench. And tighten this back down. get it snug and then give it about another quarter turn and that's gonna be plenty plenty tight enough grab our cover sure we got all the screws back in see this is the kind of kind of debris here we want to make sure we won't leave on there to get dropped inside the box I'll clear it off Seems to be riding pretty tight, so get this cover put back in. Once it sets up, matches all the holes, we secure all our fasteners. Again, I apologize for not having a whole lot of studio lighting going on in here to light light that up real well but I think you get the idea and the fasteners all the way around and then what I'll do is for uh, as far as torquing I'm gonna set the clutch on the cordless drill real light and then I'll go back in and hand tighten them because like I said this is a it's kind of a booger to get down to some of these things So you're just going to snug that down. Of course, in a replacement situation, we'd just go ahead and exchange that filter element. We wouldn't even try and clean it out. Oh, I already got that one. It almost pushed in. Alright. So you can see no special rules special tools required, just uh I don't know, every lay around the house kind of stuff. So from that fastener puller and actually if you had to um, you could do that with a, a pair of wire cutters just something with a V bottom to be able to get around the bottom and kind of wedge them out of there so we take our larger cover and slide it up underneath the bed release bar there you see these fasteners here line up and I want to cover the ignition coils right here you see the ignition coils all these do that to line up. There's another one on the other side. And then again, maybe there's not. My bad. All right. This side here is just all going to be plastic fasteners here. And here, yep, these two buttons here. Now, what you got to watch for is you get over here in the light where you can see a little better. This little plunger here that's set, latched inside of it, you pull it clean through, like so. And then you can set this part of the fastener in and leave this jutted out. That way you can 
uh, it'll latch. One little click. Now you can go ahead and insert it. Once it's inserted, you just push this flush, and that's it. It's latched. So we'll demonstrate that right quick. This lower fastener here. Sometimes you just need three hands. All right, let's go for this hole. Get that set in there like that, flush, like so. Click, and that's it, it's fastened. Get another one ready for the next hole. Secured on this side. Having all that done, so you get those two. Yeah, we can go ahead and set the do not step cover in place. And this one gets a little tricky because the rubber flap has to be kind of lifted out of the way. And make sure everything's put where it belongs to be flush. As you can see, kind of lays under here. A side note, this is where you would check your oil in case you didn't know kind of happened upon it and we got three spots over here so you can do it in the dark for installing the uh, locations. Bear with me. The magic of TV, I had everything else kind of laid out ahead of me, but this. <laughs> kind of overlooked it. Alright. Look at those two fasteners there. One here. One here. I think we missed the hole. Yeah. I'm sure there'd be a few jokes made about that one. Right. Reset this puppy. And that's it. Everything's secure once again. Splash guards in place. Everything's secure. Do not step. Rally all our tools up. And that'll do it. The bed back down. Latched in place. And uh, that's it. So uh, checked our checked our primary, checked and could have replaced our secondary, our main filter. Made sure the air box is clean, hands still clean. Hey, couldn't ask for a better job. Thanks for your time.